This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so Robert Hellenius, of course, tested positive over a VADA test that was taken the day before his fight with Anthony Joshua, which, of course, he ended up getting knocked out in round number seven in brutal fashion by Anthony Joshua. Anyway, Robert Hellenius has protested his innocence. Nothing unusual there. That's standard procedure for everybody. And this is what Robert Hellenius had to say. I want to say something very clear in my own words right now with absolutely no exception. I did not use any performance enhancement now or ever. I've been tested my entire career. I was just told that I tested positive for the presence of a non-steroid substance in my system and I wanted to send an immediate direct message to Anthony Joshua and boxing fans that I didn't cheat and never would. I volunteered to work with VADA and the British Box Border Control to do whatever it takes to clear my name. Robert Hellenius' statement. Now, I'm hearing different reports, I don't know how accurate they are, that the substance that they found in his system is the same one that they found in Connor Ben. Now, I don't follow PEDs, okay? I, I, don't, I couldn't tell you one from the next one. I really couldn't, okay? It's not something that I ever look into. I really don't have time for it. But I'd never heard of this particular substance that Connor Ben took until Connor Ben got flagged with it. And now Robert Hellenius has got it as well. Now, of course, it is standard procedure that any fighter who test positive for anything, of course, he's going to protest their innocence because nobody wants to be known as an intentional cheat, do they? Of course not. And in some cases, some of them will be legitimately innocent in the sense of it could be a contamination or it could be accidental. However, OK, in, uh, in many other cases, it's deliberate. But at this stage of Robert Hellenius's career, is he really worried about it? Because he was talking about retiring anyway after the Deontay Wilder fight. And since then, he's had two fights. And of course, one of them was a very good payday against Anthony Joshua. Is he too concerned or is this just about reputation? Um, but either way, it's proven yet again that taking these substances don't actually help you with your chin. It don't matter what you do, you can't fix a chin. You get hit, you're going to go down. It's as simple as that. And yes, of course, it's a very, very brutal sport. It's very, very dangerous and things do happen and whatever else. Quite extreme. Um, I, listen, I've never once heard of anybody who's had a severe injury or fatality or anything like that and the opponent is tested positive for a performance enhancement. But that doesn't mean that it's okay to use them. Not at all, okay? So let's not get that twisted. But the point is, is that it's not going to help your chin. It isn't. And Anthony Joshua proved that, didn't he? Now, maybe Robert Hellenius is innocent. And again, like with everybody, I'll always tell you, OK, so let's wait and see. Let's wait and see what they go through and what the verdict's going to be. Then we'll either say, OK, fair enough. It was accidental or however. Now they've got a ban or now they haven't. They've proved their innocence. Then we'll work on the result, OK? So I'm not going to nail Robert Hellenius to the wall on this or... Dylan White or Alicia Baumgardner or like I did with Connor Ben or even ba Big Baby Jaron Miller originally. So let's wait and see what happens. Let's wait and see what happens. But for it to be the same performance enhancement as Connor Ben, I mean, has Robert Hellenius been eating eggs too? The same ones? Maybe they've been on the same holiday destination. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, either way, I'm letting you all know that Robert Hellenius has in fact released a statement and he is, of course, protesting his innocence. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you next video.